to show you. You want to slip the next two stitches as if you were uh, knitting two together. And then you're going to knit the next one and bring it over and pass the two slipped stitches over. So what I like to do is I take the stitch, the next stitch where the double decrease is going to happen, the center stitch in case will be this one will be the one that will create uh, a bump, it will, not a pearl bump, I mean, it will be showy, it will be uh, elevated, right? So I'll take this and bring it over the other stitch then I'm going to to decrease so I'm just moving the other stitches behind the pad the pin and on the peg because we're going to have a decrease in there and I don't want to leave spaces, empty packs so here I have two two stitches and I'm going to slip those two, those two. I need the next one that is right here. So here, two stitches slipped. Here's the one I'm going to knit. Then I'll bring it back over the two slipped stitches. And I'll knit one, two stitches off. That's our center decrease. Now I can just keep knitting and bringing the stitches to the side. If the decrease, center double decrease, happens when you're going to the other side, like I was going from here to here and now I'm going there. Um, sorry, I just need to use one and I want. Uh, you are going to do the same thing. You're placing the stitch over the next one. That will be the two you're going to slip. bring the stitches to close the gap then you are going to here the peg with the two slipped stitches you are going to need the next one bring it over the peg with the two slipped stitches and it both of them off. 